two men were arrested in relation to the incident but have since been released. Jordan Purcell was an avid member of the Rebels, the local team in the town of Alexandro, located 130 kilometers northeast of Melbourne. It is believed the 20-year-old was walking down Hall Street to a friend's house after a football event just after midnight when he was sideswiped by a car containing other players. It is unclear if the occupants of the car were aware they hit Mr. Purcell. He was left on the road bleeding until he was found by a passerby who rang emergency services. When paramedics arrived he was already suffering life-threatening injuries and died while en route to hospital. A short time later, a 20-year-old Alexandra man presented himself to police. As a result of the information he provided, investigators arrested a 23-year-old man, also from Alexandra. He was taken to Alexandra Police Station. Both men have since been released and the 20-year-old is being treated as a witness. Ray Steiger, the president of the Alexandra Rebels, told Nine News that this event had shaken the small town. Just that suddenness just rips you. He was showing great signs of progress and really looking with great excitement as far as the future was concerned, he said. This certainly will impact right through, not just our club, but the whole community. It's a local family and it's absolutely devastating. Police also recovered a Toyota Helix Ute with a tradesman's pack on the back, which they believed was involved in the incident. The victim's family had been notified, Detective Sergeant Darrell Ott said. They're distraught, they're very, very upset, he said. With small towns in particular it has a greater ripple effect and affects the community much faster because a lot of people are known to each other and as a result they get the information around. He warned drivers and pedestrians to take extra care when out at night. All I can suggest is if you're out walking at night to take all the precautions you can. And if you're driving at night and you're in the side streets where it's dark to be extremely careful and pay particular attention to your surroundings. The latest tragedy takes the state's road toll to 149, 52 more than this time last year, just weeks after Premier Daniel Andrews held a road safety summit to address the soaring toll.